Miss Carrie here from Miss Carrie's Creations. Today I'm going to share a teen themed first day of school page and share a unique background that you can create with shapes and stamps. Here on my desk I have that September main kit from Hip Kit Club. The New Day collection features an amazing color palette of double sided patterns and prints. This kit includes a number background die cut, puffy alphabet stickers, cardstock ephemera, layered stitch dimensional stickers, which are absolutely fabulous, chipboard die cuts, and the embellishment pack, which I'm most excited about. It's filled with baker's twine, ball fringe, crepe paper, wood buttons, and epoxy button stickers. For today's project, I'm going to bring in this numbers background stamp and the tri-leaf metal die. I'm going to use these numbers to create a background for my back to school page and add some nature elements with the die. As I create this layout, I'll bring in a few additional supplies. I'll list those in the description below along with a link to this hip kit collection. I have selected a photo of this sweet girl and her mom on her first day of school. It can be challenging to find school themed items for teenagers, but when this new day kit arrived, I was drawn to the patterns and embellishments and I knew it would be perfect for a back to school page. For my background pattern, I plan to use this softer blue distress grid. The photo has darker colors and this shine your light pattern will be a nice contrast. The congratulations diamond pattern has inspired me to create a diamond background. I don't want to use this one specifically, but I may take a few of the shapes here and combine them with some shapes I cut out of this good to meet you floral print. In the photo, one is wearing navy blue and the other is wearing a deep red violet color. I want to make sure that the teen is the focal point of my page, so I need a color palette that helps out with that. This is where I bring out my trusty color wheel. I'm going to rotate this to the darker blue hue. I can choose a complementary yellow orange hue or split that contrast with blue, yellow, and orange. I could also create a combination of blue, green, and orange. If I choose any of the greens, I might lose focus on the people because the green is going to bring out the trees in the background. So I think I'm going to avoid that color. Next to this blue is deep violet, which I know I'm going to add to the page. Let's rotate the wheel to that color and let's take a look at the violet red, which is the color of mom's shirt. As I move the wheel, the yellow greens come into play, as do blue green hues. I could also select the colors right next to that blue and deep violet that I know I'm going to use. Here we have a nice combination of blues, violets, reds, and a tiny bit of green. Opposite of these colors, we can also see that yellow. So now I think I have a better idea of what colors are going to play well together with my photo. So I'm going to go off camera and cut out my diamond shapes. Then I'll start creating the background for my layout. So this took me much longer than I planned thanks to my OCD. I eventually discovered that a series of pencil drawn lines helped me keep everything straight. I also used post-it tape to create even spacing between the diamonds. Now at this moment I realized that I should have done my stamping before I laid these out. So I'm going to add some stitching holes in the middle of the tape using this template. Then I'll remove all the diamonds and tape and stamp my numbers. I have finished adding all the stitching marks and I've removed the diamonds. These were stuck in place with temporary adhesive so they were easy to remove. As I said earlier, this is a teen page, so I want to bring in some brighter colors. I'm going to create a multicolor number design with three inks that are water reactive. I'm adding the ink randomly to the stamp because I want some blank spaces between the numbers. I'm going to spray it with some water, let the ink pool for a moment, 
and then I'll stamp it on my background. As you can see, the random inking and water gives this more of a distressed look. Now I'm going to add another stamp below, but I only want a portion of the number design. Again, I'm going to add some ink randomly on the numbers, spray it with water, then I'll use a paper towel to remove some of the ink. This gives me just a portion of the numbers and leaves some negative space on the page. The background diamonds have been adhered to the page. I want to create more of an asymmetrical design on this page, so I added three diamonds on the upper right side. I've also started adding some yellow stitching, which contrasts really well with the purple hues. I chose Swim Fest Blue and Mascot Blue for my photo mats. I distressed the edges a bit before layering them together. I'm going to add a torn edge at the base of this photo mat to match the distressing that I created with the stamps. My photo is sitting near the base of the left side of the page, which is the start of my asymmetrical design. Right now, there are a lot of vertical pieces in place, so I want to bring in a horizontal line. I cut a one and a half inch piece of this colorful follow your heart pattern, which is being placed where the lower third of my photo will sit. I want to bring in some more color to match the violet red hues, so I cut a piece of cheer pink and I'm going to stamp a ruler design on it to match my back to school theme. Again, I'm not adding a whole lot of ink because I want this to have a distressed look. This ruler stamp is from the April 2023 kit and it's perfect for school pages. This will sit about a half an inch from the top of that previous paper strip. Below that, I'm bringing in a floral branding strip. The edges of this have been distressed and I'm adding simple angle cuts to the ends. As I add these elements, I want to explain how I'm bringing in those colors I chose from the color wheel. Blue is the one that I'm using most. It pairs well with the violets and creates a separation from the darker background. The violet is the next used color along with pink. The least used is yellow, but it is such a great contrast to the purple hues and it gives the page a playful look. On the opposite end, I'm going to bring balance to the page by adding items in similar colors. The letter board has a nice yellow frame with a deep blue violet board. Behind it, I'm adding more florals that match the ones above and some more leaves cut with that tri-leaf die from the Hello Hello pattern. With all of these elements, I've also created a nice diagonal which is going to work as the start of a visual triangle on my page. To finish this off, I'm bringing in a little date tab and some three-dimensional floral die cuts. I'm using these three-dimensional flowers to bring a little dimension to the florals and hide the bright red orange flowers in the bouquets. As I finish adding these elements, I would love it if you tap that subscribe button and let me know you're new here. If you're already a subscriber, let me know that you enjoyed today's video by tapping the thumbs up icon or leaving me a comment below. I would love to know if you are going to try to use a color wheel on your next page design. All right, so the last step is to finish off my asymmetrical design with a small cluster here at the top. I have a blue label that says grade and I've tucked some more leaves and flowers behind it. The number that I'm using is actually the six in this collection. The nine is a green color and that's not part of my color palette, so I just flipped this six upside down. All right, I'm going to finish adding the stitching to this page and then I'll share the completed layout with you. Here is that playful back to school layout that I created for this teen. Once the stitched lines were complete, that yellow really made everything pop off the page. Even though this layout is supposed to be an unbalanced design, I was able to create balance with light colors and shapes in a visual triangle, and I love how it turned out. 
Today I shared a simple way that you could use a color wheel to help you select colors that make your photo stand out. We all have photos that we want to pair with our favorite kits, like this one from HipKit, but it can be difficult to choose patterns and colors that make your photo stand out. A color wheel is a great tool to have as it will help you narrow down your choices to ones that will pair well with your photo. I hope that you give the techniques I shared with you a try. If you're one who likes to pin photos to inspiration boards, I've added still shots of this page in the HipKit Facebook group and on my website for you to use. I want to thank you for joining me for another scrapbook project. If you'd like to see more of my creations, you can visit my channel or follow Miss Carrie's Creations online. If you have any questions about this project or the supplies listed below, feel free to leave me a comment. I hope you have a wonderful week and I can't wait to see what you create.